about to get in the car to go to the airport. Surveyor's driving, holy shit, I'm scared. Off to Vietnam, let's go! Right old Canon PowerShot V10, about to take it out on some day trip stuff here in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City. I'm going to just see how it performs in pretty much point and shoot mode for video. Um, stabilized, because you can't really use unstabilized, which is a big disappointment. It's just not as steady as a mobile phone, which is what you would compare this device to. Uh, about to also use it for street photography. Just see what sort of candid photos I can get. Will this do? I know the sensor is good enough to take good photos because it's a bigger sensor than smartphones, but in just pure auto mode, is it actually good enough to replace your phone? I'm really feeling it's not, but let me not talk any more shit. Let's go check it out and see what sort of photos we can get with it. And then I think we'll go on a bit of a tour do the touristy thing through through Ho Chi Minh, you know, see the tunnels, Mekong Delta, boat ride, that sort of stuff. So let's just see if it can keep up with a phone. Let's go. One thing that is a little bit disturbing though that I can notice even without my glasses is the flaring. It's pretty intense and I think that's just the capabilities of the sensor and look it doesn't look too bad. It gives it a certain look, a certain vibe but it's definitely not the most professional looking. So check it out. Flaring's off tap but it seems to be staying in focus for the most part. And how's the audio sound? This is about one foot away from my face, so there's definitely some serious wide angle going on. Staying in focus. Stable enough. But that flaring is off its tits. Get out of here. Something else that's good about it, it has the two little speakers on top. For vlogging mode, it's going to record everything it needs to when you're talking to the camera. And I can come quite close like this if I need to, to, you know, give it some better sound. You can do auto, um, you can do auto mode when it comes to sound, or you can do manual mode and set this, the limits yourself. But for sort of vlogging, you really don't want to do that, especially in a busy place. You just want to set it to auto. Oh, and I nearly forgot, uh, this is the ND filter is on auto. Um, it just seems to be better, but I don't, I think it's just a digital situation. I don't think it's proper NDs.
Now, right now I am in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm in a park. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's about to start pouring down. So I'm going to get undercover, um, which is another problem with this. It's got no IP rating. Whereas if I'm using my phone, I do have IP68. If I'm using my high-end mirrorless camera, I have weather sealing. But here, on this little Canon PowerShot V10, I do not have waterproofing, even water resistance. Problem. Well, it's been about 32 degrees, it's 10.30 in the morning. This, is, this rain is welcome. Well, lack of waterproofing. So the waterproofing is an issue. And I do want to point out as well, from a photography point of view, uh, it's limited. It's 19mm full frame equivalent for taking photos, and it's stuck on that focal length. And it really doesn't take that good of a photo. The heavily distorted, a very fisheye looking effect. It's hard to get a good picture out of it. You can actually get a way better photo on your smartphone. Now I do know that Canon said that they created this for video creators, but I think in this day and age you need to be able to do both. You have to have photo and video in the one device. You really can't fuck around with two different products. Especially for a point and shoot holiday type camera or you know sort of single purpose camera. This doesn't make sense. So I guess it, my my conclusion isn't good for the PowerShot V10. And before I give you my conclusion, you gotta remember I'm a Canon dude, like I love Canon. I love my Canon R6, I love my Canon R50, I just sold my Canon 90D. And I've got the, the L glass, I love it all. I think it's amazing equipment. And I think this would have been an amazing piece of kit four or five years ago, but I think they missed the mark heavily. Now for video like this, it does a trick. But your phone can do this with better stabilization. Your phone can do this in 4K60, where this can only do 4K25. And the 4K60 on your phone is going to be really well stabilized. I think if they made this, been able to take good photos, maybe if they just stuck with that Canon G7X and pimped it out, that would be a much better product than what we have here. I know the price comes into it, but this is so limited in what it can do, it should really be only like a two to three hundred dollar product. Here in Australia, it's actually like a $650 product. Big no-no for me. Sorry, Canon. I've traveled with it, I've used it extensively, and it can take decent video, but it just doesn't cut it. Now, just quickly, I just wanna close off this video. I've done all my traveling, I'm back in Queensland, and I was just editing the video, and I thought, there's some stuff here I need to just qualify quickly. Because I didn't talk about the settings in the video, and the settings are very simple. It's just your bare bones Canon menu, really basic. There's like four different modes for video. It's like auto mode, um, auto enhanced stabilization mode, um, ND filter, and then manual mode. So very basic. Just choose one and let it do its thing. This is in full manual mode, 4K, 25 frames per second, with stabilization turned off. So as you can see, it's a very wide field of view, very fisheye. I'm about one foot from my face with the camera. Um, but very basic settings, especially when it comes to shooting photos, it is completely auto mode, just put it in photo mode. and You can get some okay photos. I, I think I bagged it out a little bit in the video, but you can get some okay photos. Just not as good as I was hoping. 
And I really do got to say that the form factor is brilliant. Like it is a lot smaller than it looks. It fits amazingly in any pocket, whether it's a shirt pocket, your back pocket, your front pocket. It just slips in nicely. No problems with it. I really, I really do appreciate the form factor. But because of the wide angle of the lens, you can easily get your thumb or fingers in the shot if you're not careful. Also, there's no protection on the lens or on the back display. So you do have to be careful with it. I think it would be nice to have a little bit of a case. Or maybe the next model could be redesigned a little bit so that you can flip the screen around to protect it and maybe just put something over that lens because it's got zero protection. And you can't put it down on its side really. It's just going to fall over and probably damage the display or the lens. So... That is an issue, but apart from that, ergonomically, it is really easy to handle. Uh, it's got a mounting pin underneath for a little tripod or a handheld tripod, which is nice. You can turn it like this, so you can shoot in ticky tocky mode, which is not my style, but you can do that. And it also has grids, so you can uh, choose your aspect ratio for filming in ticky tocky mode when you're in horizontal mode. So it lets you see where to position yourself so you can edit it properly for TikTok and all that sort of stuff. That's it for this video. I just want to shout out to anyone in Vietnam that helped me on my trip, on my adventures. You were amazing people over there. Really welcoming, really warm people. Absolutely loved my holiday there. We'll definitely go back. That's it everyone. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave comments down below if you want to ask me questions about this device. I'm going to keep using it. I think it is a handy little product, a handy little device. Really, really stoked if they bring out a version 2 that fixes up all these quirks. I would say, look, I, like I said, I love Canon, but I would say don't get this. Just use your phone, unfortunately. And Canon, improve it so that we choose this instead of our phone. But right now, it's behind the eight ball. Thanks for watching, check out. Hey.